What's going on, guys? Uh, welcome in here to uh, to Rover Sports. I wanted to talk about a couple of topics that are passionate to me, and I don't know if you guys are passionate about it or not, but I hope you can uh, watch the video and enjoy it. Davis Webb getting squeezed out by the New York Jets. They bring in Brandon Silvers to compete with Davis Webb. I think Webb is better than Simeon, and he's better than Brandon Silvers. Davis Webb right now is really getting tested, you know, because Bryce Petty, Bryce Petty ended up going to Miami and a lot of guys just end up slipping and they just end up leaving the NFL. And Christian Hackenberg, he got a couple of chances to start football games, but in the preseason, he looked lost. He went to the AAF. He looked lost as well. Davis Webb in the NFL hasn't really had an extended amount of time to play the game of football. I mean, last year, we look at his first start uh, against the Cleveland Browns. It was disappointing. He was missing slant routes. He was like one for eight. He was high on throws. He looked slow um, getting set up to throw. He was high. He was erratic. He had an off game. He didn't have a great game. He then played Detroit. Looked a little bit thin in the pocket, but had a high completion percentage, led about 10 points. They won the first half. He had a good throw to Sterling Shepard along the sidelines. Made some really good throws. He even hit a deep ball down the right sideline. Davis Webb, his arm strength is even getting better and better. Like, that was last year. And he played well against the uh, Lions. He really did in Detroit. I mean, his completion percentage was good. He was moving the ball. He was moving the team up and down the field. Then Davis Webb went and played his last preseason game. He played against the New York Jets. And yes, he missed a couple of throws behind a couple of guys, but he was thrusted into the third quarter of that game. You know, the Jets had Teddy Bridgewater at that time. And Webb again looked fine. He complete, completed a 50-yard completion. He was about 50%. And he didn't light it up. Like, the Lions game was definitely his best. Um, he didn't light it up in the preseason last year. But he also was not completely horrible like Christian Hackenberg. At least the team would move. At least the team would get some first downs. He didn't get a lot of playing time. You know, it's preseason. You only get like a quarter or two to show off your stuff. And then the Giants, before the season even started, decided that they had to that they had to release him. You know, they didn't release Lalletta. They didn't release uh, Alex Tanney. They released the guy that had been with the team the longest in Davis Webb. And, and Davis Webb was taken aback at the timing of it. He was ready to go into the season and help Eli Manning try to become a better quarterback and try to help the guys in the receiving room. And I don't think he was a detriment to the team at all. And it, it was really sad to see Davis Webb treated that way and, and just be let on and, and, and then... Uh, you know, see him get traded, but that's the business. And, uh, and Davis ended up being smart signing with the New York Jets. Now they have a new coaching staff. Todd Bowles wasn't a good offensive coach. And now finally Davis Webb is going to get Adam Gase to really be, um, an offensive coach. And I just hope that Davis Webb can win this quarterback battle with Simeon with Brandon Silvers. And I really hope that Webb um, and Alf McCown comes back. It's five guys. But overall, this competition that Davis Webb is going to be in, I think that the room will be very healthy. It will be competitive. I think this will be great and fun for Davis Webb. I think to look at it positively, he's going to get tested. And it is going to be really, really good to see Davis Webb get tested if, with this New York Jets um, you know, quarterback room. And I still believe in Webb. Um, I want to see the kid get an opportunity to play. And I think he's going to be in the NFL. He has connections. He has connections to the Arizona coaching staff. Um, you know, if Bruce Arians ever wanted a guy to help in with Jameis Winston, he's good enough to be a backup quarterback. He knows the game. He's smart. He's a great worker. And that's why he's going to be around the NFL a while. And I think he's only about 23, 24 years of age. And, um, and it's great. He's still a young guy. And, uh, hopefully in these next couple of years, he'll get an opportunity to eventually start a game somehow. 
And when he starts that game, he has to win that game. He has to pull a Nick Mullins and start winning some of these games to get his name on the map. He has to, or this preseason, he has to do what Chad Kelly did, and he has to have a really good preseason. So the preseason's going to be absolutely huge, huge for Davis. And it's going to come down to whether that third string defense that Greg Williams will instill, it's going to come down to whether the game is close. It's going to come down to whether Sam Darnold, how successful the first team offense is in. So Davis Webb will be in passing situations. It's going to come down to the third string defense helping out Davis Webb, getting him back the football. All these things are so crucial for Davis Webb and his future. And he's going to have to get fortunate. They're going to have to be playing. Uh, he's going to have to get good play calls. And he's going to have to go against defenses where he will have an opportunity to hit long throws and to look really good. So the one thing Davis can't afford to do is he can't lose this edge. He can't lose this mental edge. He can't say, he can't have that doubt creep into his mind that I'm never going to get an opportunity and I, I and and soften up, you know, he can't soften up to the NFL um, because he just has to continue to battle. And he's doing exactly that with his quarterback coach. And um, it's a good situation for Dave, man. He's he's going to get a great he's going to get a lesson from Adam Gase. He's going to learn this new offense with Sam Darnold. And Adam Gase has been around Peyton Manning. He's been around some other good quarterbacks. So. Overall, man, Brandon Silvers just adds uh, more competition to this crowded room. Uh, and it's going to be an all-out war in training camp. And I, I think it could actually benefit Davis Webb now that, now that you think of it. Because he's not comfortable just being the second guy. He is really going to be tested. And he's going to be competing with Simeon and all these other dudes. And Trevor's a guy who's also been around the NFL. He's also been in Denver. He's also been in Minnesota under John DeFilippo. Uh, so Simeon also knows a little bit about offenses. And uh, it's it, I, think, I think this quarterback room is going to be lit, man. It's going to be great. And I like Webb a lot more than Simeon. Simeon's just gotten the opportunity to play. I wasn't that impressed with what Simeon did out in Denver at all. Kind of a weak-armed quarterback, didn't stretch the field, would hold on to the ball, would make stupid turnovers. I think the Webby is going to be better than Simeon, and I think Webb's going to shine. And I think I can't wait for Webb, man. I can't wait for this preseason. I think Webb is going to be that guy. He's going to be the number two quarterback on this football team. Oh, man, is this getting good.